Hello. Good afternoon. Happy Thursday. And I am coming to you live from my artisan skin lab, skincare lab, and also my office <laughs> and apothecary and all of the above. Um, and I just wanted to come live to you today. I am trying out some new formulations for toners. Currently, I have a couple different toners that I make. And then I also do um, just floral waters, right? Or hydrosols, if you will. So my toners I use, have used so far mostly just um, pure hydrosols in them and essential oils. What a hydrosol is, if you don't know, is the byproduct, the aqueous or water-based byproduct when an essential oil is made. And so you're actually getting a little bit, a very, very, very diluted um, quantity of essential oils, which makes them just incredibly versatile and delicate, gentle to use for all sorts of things. Uh, historically, they've been used um, in food and cooking and beverages, bar bartending like cocktails, um, just because they um, I mean, they're fabulous, right? They contain plant herbal um, benefits in them, and they're also like a distilled water, so that allows you affords you the ability to make stuff with them. And right now, what I'm doing is I'm actually just um, disinfecting or sanitizing, um, disinfecting these beakers, right, before I use them. I've already boiled um, boiled the utensils we're going to use. I have in here a couple rods. I have one more of these to do. And what we're going to do is we're going to try five different formulations. So I'm trying a couple things. One, the um, hydrosols that I've been most, I've been using Neroli hydrosol, but it's really through some experimentation and deduction uh, I have determined that the neroli hydrosol that I've been using may not be a um, pure hydrosol. A lot of times on the market, companies will um, like add essential oils or do different things and sell things as hydrosols when they're not really hydrosols. And I think that might be one of those cases. So if you don't know me, I'm Sonia from Just Botanicals. I'm going to be boosting this post so that more people get a chance to see it. Feel free to like my page. I'd love it if you do, and you'll be able to see me go live more often. Check out the video section of this um, video, and um, and I think I saw somebody on there. Hey, Michelle. Hi, welcome, and um, Kara, I think. Welcome, you guys. Um, feel free to share this, uh, like my page, and check out the video section, because I do this quite a lot, and I'll be doing it more, because I really love it. Um, so... What I've decided, I, I really enjoy this rose geranium hydrosol from um, Mountain Rose Herbs. Um, and if you don't know, I do, I formulate organic skincare using only ethically sourced organic or wild crafted um, ingredients. Uh, and that's very important to me. Mountain Rose Herbs is one of those companies that historically um, follows a lot of fair trade practices and they do, um, they do a lot to ensure that their ingredients are quality and are ethical uh, and how they are sourced. So I really like the rose geranium hydrosol and I haven't used it a whole lot. Rose geranium is excellent for balancing and it has a lot of um, fibrous aging and other uh, skin benefits. It's good for eczema and rosacea. Um, but I, so I'm gonna try this as my substitute for the Roli. Um, and then frankincense hydrosol, and you may not know that, but hydrosol can be made from, from anything that you make a, an essential oil out of, you can actually make um, a hydrosol out of, right? It happens at the same time. So this is the most amazing, I love it, hydrosol. Oh my God, it's so good. And so um, I'm thinking I might just do a line with that, and I am actually gonna, that's what we're doing right now, is we're trying these two together in combinations with some different essential oils. And I think I'm gonna also try them with some chamomile hydrosol um, in one of the recipes, and some aloe vera gel. Um, a lot of the organic toners that are on the market use aloe vera gel. Um, and so I'm going to try to use a little bit of that as another, pro another aspect to increase the moisture factor that's in these toners. Um, okay, so let's see, I've labeled my little bottles. I'm doing, I'm actually gonna test a total of seven different toners. Today we're doing five. 
looks like I'm going to do a total of eight. But today I'm doing five. And so I have one, one A, five, five A, and four A, right? So this is the scientist coming. I have my scale. And, you know, you can get some really good quality scales locally. I uh, just ordered one from um, Phillips Scales, my friend Kurt and Jim. Uh, Jim Perry, some of you may know him. Um, you can get a scale that is actually certified by the state, which is really key when you're wanting to make sure your measurements are accurate. Um, so a little shout out there. Okay, so I've already disinfected with isopropyl alcohol, 70%. Um, and I'm going to tear out my beaker here, and I'm going to do the first toner, which will be 60%, which in this case <laughs> is a, so it, let me make sure I get this right. So thank you for bearing with me here. So in this one, it's only about a 25 to 30 mil, so um, 25 grams of percent. So I need to split that 25 into 60%. So um, I probably should have done the math first, but I kind of have a quick way of doing that. Um, so 60 would be 15, 15 grams, which would mean 10 grams. Okay, I've been doing this long enough. So, so I'm going to, I like to use my lids actually to help me pour to keep my numbers accurate. And so I want 15 grams of rose geranium. The benefit of measuring everything out by weight is that then you can measure out um, solids and liquids and you want to keep your formulations consistent. And this is how I can make sure that when I provide a product to somebody that every time I do it that it's going to smell um, and have the same benefits as the one they originally ordered. And that's really important in cosmetics or skincare. And 15.0, okay. So, and I apologize, this is gonna be a long video. Um, so feel free to come back. Oh, if you don't have a whole lot of time, I do wanna let you know I'm having a workshop coming up next Wednesday the 28th here in Palmer and we're going to make toners. So there's another reason for me doing this, um, all these different testing, these different ideas so I can give people options and get out of my light. So I have 15 grams of the bruised geranium, and then I'm going to do 10 grams of frankincense and add that up to a total of 25 grams so that we can pour it into our lovely little bottle there. Okay. I know this is going to smell good. The key is to try different couple different options to see which smells the best and what might be most affordable because these hypocells are pretty spendy um, because they are, since they're aqueous or water-based, they're perishable, which means they only have a shelf life of a couple of months as far as being in a product. Um, a lot of, they're done right themselves. They can last up to two years and that's of course in the refrigerator where I keep them, where I store them. Um, and so, okay, so I have frankincense and rose geranium, and I like that. Very nice. Okay, so now I'm going to take another one of these, and we are going to do, oh, let me pour that into my one. washed and I have it in my one so I know what this is so when I really want to get in and compare okay so then I have my 1a which is where I introduce a little bit of chamomile and this is gonna be a little harder to um, to add up but uh, okay so that is basically 7.5 7.5 chamomile quick nap and I really should be using my lid, 7.5. Okay, and I'm probably, just to keep this video on the short side, I am going to probably do it in two little videos, um, just because I do want to talk about citrus acid. Well, I'll probably do it all in 
this, but yeah, just make this one long one. For people who are curious and have a few minutes. You know, another thing that I like to do is I like to actually hold on one second. Listen to videos and such while I drive, which takes advantage of um, that downtime when I'm driving. You know, listen to listen to things I don't otherwise get to listen to. Okay, so I went to eight grams. So eight grams is actually going to be about a 32%. So I'm gonna change some things up here. Um, so I'm gonna make the frankincense 28%. And then I'm gonna make that um, that'll be seven and that'll be 10. Okay, got it. All right, so there's little tricks when you're formulating <laughs> to do, okay. So then I want to do seven grams of my frankincense. So close. Okay. If you don't already know frankincense, aside from smelling heavenly um, and being one of the biblical gifts, right? There's a reason for that. It is a very healing resin, um, and it's just notorious historically for being incredible. Um, if you want to know why I talk about the history, it's because I study um, studied ethnobotany in college, and so I do have fascination and a love for learning about how people throughout time have learned have used plants through medicine, for medicine, building, food, everything. So we have a really close relationship with plants. So, so this is just cameo and frankincense. And that is very, very delicate. I'm glad, you know, I'm really noticing, I did some bath salts this weekend and um, the uh, chamomile really toned down the floral that was in the bath salts, and I really think I'm liking it. And I think it just did that with the frankincense too. Like it really toned down some more intense scents. At least the herbal water does. Okay, so now I'm gonna do 10, 10 grams. I'm gonna try that out just so I don't get confused. I'm gonna do 10 grams here of the rose geranium. And then we'll try some of this so you can see this little trick for dispersing essential oils into the hydrosols or anything aqueous. You could also do it um, like with a oh, distilled water, right? To get your essential oils in your distilled water if you want to spray something around the house or body spray or make your own personal toner with just essential oils and distilled water. Um, and so I'm going to at my workshop coming up on Wednesday, I'm going to cover some of that, right? And I'll show people a couple different ways that they can choose to make a toner and then let them kind of have at it and create their own toners. That is next Wednesday. So if you're interested, comment below, send me a message, um, or give me a call, 414-3663, and we'll talk about that. Okay. So unfortunately, I went over 0.3 grams. Um, but that should still make, give me a good idea of what that combination of hydrosols is going to smell like. I just want to note it down. 0.3 grams. Okay. All right. And I do have, I've already boiled the, um, my glass rods here. Uh oh. For mixing. Hmm. Oh yeah, I think I like this one better. The first one was just geranium and frankincense, but I like scent. So this is a nice, fresh, kind of herbally, um, del more delicate, gentle scent. And I think some people really enjoy that. So I can see using both of these for sure. Um, and Gorman Can Mountains is going to be Slightly more affordable than a frankincense essential oil. I'm sorry, hydrosol. So that is good. <laughs> well, it's good for you guys. 
and it's good for me because my ingredients are expensive. Um, and it helps me keep the product price down for some people. You know, sometimes we just uh, don't have the good cash flow, right? Okay, so let's try this one here. And what we're going to do is we're going to do, and I think I might actually do a large one of these and try this one out at home. So well, I can still use this, but it'll also make it kind of easier to calculate. So I have my rose geranium, and I'm going to use this. This is number four. Okay, all right, so four will be um, 59.5, so it's going to be 25, yeah, <laughs> 25 and 25 plus 450 and 450 is 29.50, 29.50 point. 29.75. So 29.8 essentially. Now the new scale that I have, I will actually be able to just do this to a 0.8, which will be very nice. Um, and thank you, Jim Perry, if you're by any chance watching for uh, the awesome scale. Um, okay, so what I say? 29.8. Okay, so actually we have to do a little bit more because that's Okay, 17.6, very good. Okay, and mark. Okay, so there's 25.7, 29.8. Okay, it's gonna be 29.9. Okay, so it's 29.9. So it is. 0.15 <laughs> off, which is fine. Just got to note it down. So we're doing 29.9 grams. And so then to counterbalance that, um, that would normally be 20, that would have been 20 grams, but we need to take off 5.5. So um, approximately 19 grams of frankincense and then we'll do 0 0.1 neroli and 0.2 mandarin okay love that okay so we're going to see that out and i have the other side of my rod here Rose geranium and frankincense. No, that's just rose geranium. I thought so. Like something's missing there. All right. And we're going to add 19 grams of frankincense. Oops, I should take a couple of these easy. Okay. 16.3. Okay, we're at 18.5, 18.7, 19.5. .5. So we went over. <laughs> the benefit, though, of doing it like this is that I know exactly what I have here. And it is a toner. Everything is liquid. It's all going to go into this container. So that 19.5 is a little higher than I wanted because that essentially is taking the place of the essential oils. But this still should give me a pretty good idea of what this might smell like and what it might come out like because it's still pretty close. Um, 
And then the end, now I can go back and adjust the percentages based on what I come up with. If this looked like I nailed it type of set, right? Okay. So I guess I actually need to take this label off here and tear off that A because there's no A and keep just the four right there. Okay. And okay. Anyhow. That frankincense rose geranium is excellent. <sighs> okay. So now for the essential oils. So I'm actually going to use this right here and I'm going to measure the essential oils into the beaker and then I will add and stir this. And I'm gonna add a little bit, this is our trick. We're gonna add a little bit of citric acid, which will disperse the essential oils throughout the hydrosols and help it um, solubilize more or less, right? So that when it combine and blend together so that when I spray out, I'm not just having all the essential oils the first three times I spray on my toner. And so it'll actually create a um, more effective product. Okay, so we're going to, what I want to try is Neroli, which is a fantastic essential oil, which is one of the best skincare oils next to Rose. And I'm gonna do some mar mar Mandarin, which is kind of like tangerine, right? Red Mandarin. It's um, like tangerine in the sense that it's uplifting and it's a good positive energy type of essential oil to help you kind of feel uplifted and light and more positive. Um, and the Neroli is very uplifting and grounding at the same time. It's very calming for that nervous mind like mine. Um, so excellent, excellent essential oil. Also kind of spendy, um, but that's one of the things I get to do at Just Botanicals is bring in these really good quality ingredients that you're not going to be able to get a lot of places and put them into product for you. So you don't have to buy the entire amount, but still get the good quality stuff. Okay, so we want 0.1 grams of Neroli. So let's set kind of close because, okay, I think I've actually hit a point three. <laughs> so now I went and I did, um, I pulled down my overall percentages of my essential oils. So um, this will be interesting to see this set and I can come back later and decrease this again. Um, so I think I want to go, so we'll make this end up being more like a 1% of the form formulation. I don't really need to worry about all that. Um, I'm going to increase my mandarin because I do want to see what it's like to have like twice as much mandarin as neroli. Um, so I'm going to make that a point five on the mandarin and then ends up being, what do I know, another 2% of the formulation. Okay. So that added 0.4, so I'm just gonna add a couple more drops. Okay, there we go. Okay, got one right. Okay. Now I'm gonna let this kind of percolate. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I've never done this combination before with mandarin and neroli. Um, I will be doing this with rose and frankincense, neroli and frankincense, and palmarosa and neroli, but I really did want to try the mandarin. I don't know. So I'm a little bit uncertain. I kind of like it, but you know, what'll be the telltale um, uh, example here is when we combine the hydrosols in here and see what that's like. Cause that's going to change it because I have rose geranium and frankincense also going on in here. So seeing that combination of different scents is what's going to be kind of cool. Okay. Hmm. Well, what's, oh, I can smell the neroli. That's really interesting. This actually kind of smells like the neroli hydrosol that I was using before. Hmm. Very fruity. So it's definitely, which makes sense because it's kind of a powerful thing. So I might actually, huh. 
I like it, but I think I'm going to have to go, I think it'll be perfectly fine to go down on the essential oils. Perfectly fine. So what I want to do now is I want to add a little bit of citric acid. That'll get that to blend. So the essential oils should then mix, blend into... And citric acid will also help. Haha, <laughs> look at that. That's so cool. Will also help um, keep your pH lower. And so if you don't already know about the pH of your skin is fairly acidic. It's between 4 and 6.5. So it's more acidic than um, water is neutral at 7. And so and like a lot of soaps, old time soaps are real alkaline. They're way up like at 10 or so. And you really want to try to keep your skincare between that 4 to 6.5 range because that is what your skin wants. So, okay, I can see it start to diffuse into or blend, which is really neat. Okay. And citric acid comes from, naturally derived from citrus fruit. Okay, and it's also used in... Um, bath bombs and fizzes because when compared with combined with baking soda it creates fizziness so i'm going to shake that and i've been on here for 26 minutes <laughs> so if you've actually watched this whole thing you are impressive and you may want to attend one of my workshops where we make stuff because this is what we get to do and make skincare that's going to be amazing for our skin and make us happy at the same time or whatever emotional um, response that we're looking for. That's where the essential oils can have that dual benefit. So thank you for joining. And if you want to participate in the workshop, give me a call. Thanks.